Welcome to the Threality Technica tutorial on assembling the TS5 in the under and through configuration. This tutorial shows you how to assemble and mount the TS5 to the camera support. We cover best practices for assembling your cameras and lenses, camera specific mounts and rig brackets, lens motors, lens motor brackets, and cables. We also show you how to clean and install the mirror. This is the TS5 rig body, including height, pitch, convergence, and interaxial units. For this configuration, we are using the smallest mirror box with a small door, built to accommodate the mini Fujinon 5x lenses. Other lenses require larger doors and sometimes larger mirror boxes. Threality Technica provides you with this wedge plate, which increases the rig's tilt travel distance. You will only need the wedge plate for this under and through configuration. Make sure your mirror box is free of all dust and particulates. Compressed air makes the job simple and fast. Whenever possible, Handle the mirror with single-use lint-free gloves. You may find it easier when installing the mirror to use a single glove with your ungloved hand adding extra security. Avoid oily fingerprints by touching the surface of the mirror only with your gloved hand. Place the mirror on a flat, clean, lint-free surface. Use compressed air to remove any surface particles. Then spray evenly with Pancro Lens Cleaning Fluid. Then wipe the mirror completely dry with a chem wipe. Determine which side of the mirror is the reflective side. A finger held to the mirrored side appears to touch its reflection. Looking at the through side of the glass, you'll notice a gap between your finger and its reflection. Be sure to place the mirrored side facing out. Unscrew and remove the top bracket. Turn the knob on the side of the mirror box to release the interior mirror clamp. To insert the mirror, start at an angle, placing the bottom of the mirror in the designated slots along the edges of the mirror box. The finger slot helps you guide the mirror into position. Gently push the mirror into the interior mirror clamp and tighten the knob on the side of the mirror box. At this point, the mirror is secure and you may remove your hand. Then replace the top bracket. These are the mounting brackets that are included with the rig. We'll start with the through-eye mounting bracket, which is easily identifiable by the two rotation knobs. We cover these knobs and their function in another tutorial. Here are the components and the tools you use to attach the through-eye camera to the rig. In this particular configuration, we will mount the through-eye camera right side up. Snap the through-eye top mounting plate using the registration pins to align to the top of the through-eye mounting bracket. Secure into place with three M4 screws. All screws for bracket assembly are included with the gear. Keep them a little bit loose. You will tighten them later. Snap the through-eye bottom mounting plate to the bottom of the mounting bracket. Make sure you have the plate oriented correctly. Secure with four M4 screws. Again, keep a little bit loose. If your screws are too tight, you may not be able to position your camera correctly. In this case, just loosen the screws a tiny bit. Now your camera should slide easily into position. Secure with three quarter 20 UNC screws and two M3 screws. Do this for both the top and the bottom of the camera. In this configuration, the reflected eye is also right side up. Position the reflected eye mounting plate to the bottom of the camera. Attach with three quarter 20 UNC screws and four M3 screws. The channel cut along the side of the reflected eye mounting plate determines the orientation of the mounting bracket. This is where the safety locking pin aligns to the side of the rig plate. 
With the correct orientation, attach the mounting bracket to the bottom of the mounting plate with six M4 screws. To attach the lens to the camera, align the top of the lens, noted by the registration pin, to the top of the lens mount. Secure the lens into place with a locking ring. Here are the lens motors and components. Notice that there are two sizes of lens motors here. These can be used separately or in combination on the same lens. But make sure to use the same motor combination for both the through and reflective eye lenses, as well as using the appropriate size gear for the motor you are using. In this configuration, we are only using small motors. Different size lenses may require gears of different pitch sizes. Sometimes you may even use gears of different pitch sizes on the same lens. This is an example of a large pitch lens gear versus a lens gear with much smaller pitch. When attaching the gear to the motor, be aware that there's a keyway that determines the gear's orientation. Turn the gear until it snaps into place. Depending on your lens, you may find that you need to switch the gear to the opposite side of the motor. Just depress the gear out of the motor, switch it over, and repeat the previous process. Here are both the through eye and reflected eye lens brackets. The through eye bracket only has one locking screw, whereas the reflected eye bracket has two. Let's start with the through eye bracket. On the through eye lens bracket, the locking screw serves two functions. It anchors or loosens the bracket from the height pitch unit. It also allows the bracket to swing into position for the lens. Loosening the thumb screw allows you to reposition or remove the motor from the bracket. Make sure that the lens bracket clamp is positioned correctly. The lip seats into the groove. Release the safety locking pin to slide the bracket onto the height pitch unit. Make sure that the bracket is connected at both the top and the bottom. Though you will position the brackets later, be aware that they must be perfectly straight up and down along the height pitch unit because they can misalign every time you loosen the bracket locking screw. Move the motors out of the way to make room for your camera. Remember to re-tighten the screw to keep your bracket and the motor in position. The reflected eye lens bracket features two locking screws and a thumb screw. The plate locking screw clamps the bracket to the reflected eye mounting plate, whereas the lens bracket locking screw allows the bracket to swing the motor into position over the lens. The thumb screw allows you to reposition or replace the motor from the bracket. As you did with the through eye, slide the lens brackets onto the reflective eye mounting plate. Remember to secure the bracket into place with the plate locking screw. As before, you will finesse these positions later. Release the safety locking pin and slide the through eye camera into position. With your lens focus ring set to infinity, align the front element of the lens to the edge of the door. Secure your camera into place by tightening the bracket locking screw. Repeat these steps with the reflected eye camera. Release the safety locking pin and slide the reflected eye camera into position. Match the front element of the lens to the edge of the door. While holding the camera in place, secure to the rig plate by tightening the two 3mm locking screws. Slightly loosen the bracket locking screw on the through eye camera. You should see both lenses in the front of the mirror. If you notice too much vertical disparity, make sure your height pitch unit is set at zero. Adjust by pressing down evenly but firmly until your lens heights match. If it will help you, move your convergence and interaxial rails until your lens images overlap. Move your camera forward and backward in tiny increments until your lens images appear to be the same size. Because we are using zooms here, this does not need to be perfect. We will accomplish identical image size matching when we build lookup tables in the 3Flex software. 
Once your lenses appear to be the same size, tighten your bracket locking screw securing your camera into place. Release the lens bracket locking screw and rotate the motor down towards the lens. Hold the motor gently but securely against the lens. With your thumb on the motor and a finger under the lens, apply equal pressure to both. This ensures that you don't apply too much pressure and torque the lens. Before tightening the lens bracket locking screw, ensure that your lens brackets are perfectly straight up and down along the height pitch unit. Once positioned and motor is secure, tighten the lens bracket locking screw, but do not over tighten. As mentioned earlier, you may need to switch the gears from one side of the motor to the other. Once the motors are in place, check the tension of your lens rings. They should engage with the gears and move freely with only moderate tension. Motors that are too tight may bind and cause your rig to perform incorrectly. Repeat the motor attachments for the reflected eye. Be sure to tighten the plate locking screw and the lens bracket locking screw once the motor is positioned on the lens. And once again, don't over tighten. Attach the lens cables from the motors to the rig. Align the dots and snap the limo cable into place. This concludes the Threality Technica tutorial on assembling the TS5 in the under and through configuration. Thank you for joining us.